Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in the last video, we looked at how to actually insert data into our database using SQL Alchemy and Flask. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how to query the database, meaning how to select data from it and display it. And there's going to be multiple ways of doing that, but we're going to kind of scratch the surface here just so you guys can get a basic understanding. Now, a way to actually query everything in our database is we assign a value. So we'll say like something like my user is just a variable. It's a Python variable. And we'll say user, and we're referencing the um, you know, class object that we created, which is our user database table. And we're saying user.query.all. And then open and close parentheses. What's this, what this is going to return is a actually a list of objects. And then we can pass that list of objects to our template uh, using Jinja. And we can pass it down to our template by putting a comma after the name of the actual template. And then we'll say my user and then equal the name of our variable my user. So now we should be able to access my user inside of our template. And we would do that by pulling up our template. And then inside of here, we're going to do inside two curly braces, we'll say my user, which is the name of the variable that we passed down. And what this is going to display is a, a object, um, a list object, but it's going to be uh, just in like standard form. So if we went ahead and refresh it, you can see it's listing all the users. So that's really not helpful if you have a list full of objects because that's what, when you say you get all of it, it's always going to return a list. Even if you have one, it's going to be a list of just one object. And in order to iterate this, I mean, what you would typically do whenever you're dealing with some sort of a list object is you're going to say, and it's um, inside these little parentheses, we're going to say for, and we'll just say user in, uh, my user and then here we could say L I god damn it was it doing that well a list object so then we can in, um, use any sort of like user dot username yeah for right now we'll just do that okay so then you also need to end your for loop so we'll say end for and this is very similar to uh, Django if you've ever done Django's template engine here. But what we're, what we're doing is we're saying loop over every list, uh, every object in that list, which we have four, because we have four users that we've added, and display their username inside of an li tag, which is an HTML li list item tag. So if I went over here and I refreshed it, you can see it's now being displayed in list item. And then we could also even say... Um, and then just like do like uh, user dot email. And then um, let's also look at the uh, user dot. I think it's either ID. I think it's ID. I don't remember. Yeah, it is ID. Okay, so you can see that ID is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it starts off with 1. There's no 0 index number. And you can see we didn't have to add all that stuff. It automatically gets added for us. All right, guys. Um, so that's, in a nutshell, how we actually query our database um, and display things in list format. We're going to go ahead and do another thing where we're just going to display one item. So let's get rid of this and um, we'll create a variable that says one item. Let's go to app.py so we can send that down. And we can be more specific. Instead of saying grab everything, what we can do is we can say user.filter. I'm sorry, user.query.filter. And then inside the, um, damn it, I'm used to Django where it's just filtered, but it's uh, it's filtered by. And we're going to say username, and then we just give it whatever sort of value we want. So we'll say test, uh, test2. And then you can uh, give it first. In case there's duplicates, um, sometimes it's best to say first, um, just to make sure. But in our case, we know that there's not going to be more than one, so we don't have to say first if we don't want to. And then we need to be able to pass that variable to our template. So one item equals one item.
Hmm. All right, so yeah, this is actually new to me too. You can see it actually passed in the entire SQL command, which is really weird. So let's try first then. It's almost like a link thing if you've ever done C sharp. All right, so first is necessary, my bad. All right, um, first is only going to return you know, one object. It's guaranteed to only re re return one even if, uh, if there's multiples. But you can see it's still in an object form there. It's not a list of objects. It's just one single object. So you'd probably do something like in your template one item dot username or something like that. So anyway, guys, that is how you query the database, both in list format to grab multiple objects or to grab a single object. Now, because first is uh, guaranteed, to be, guaranteed to be unique, and if there is no match, it's going to return none, which is a you know, null, uh, null object in Python. You can actually say, so you, instead, like this says grab all, no matter what, but you could also say grab all that meets a criteria. So if, you know, say we weren't doing a unique username, you could say where, where name contains or something like that. Either way, we could say username equal test. You could say all, and that would say, even though this is only going to come back with one since it's guaranteed to be unique because we designed our database that way, if you have data that could have multiple matches, you could simply say, you know, filter by and then instead of dot first, it's say dot all, and it'll grab all the, the matches. Now you would want to update your template too, because you're not going to be referencing a single object, because it's going to return a list again instead of a single object. So if we went over and refresh this, you can see it's actually returning a list with only one match. So that's really, um, you know, just skimming the, the surface here. That there is a ton of documentation that's available on uh, SQL Alchemy's website here um, so if you go to this uh, web page right here and you can read up on this and this will take you a long time to kind of go through all of this stuff and most of it is uh, probably more advanced than what you're going to need but this should at least give you a good start you know what i've showed you in this tutorial video all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe please vote up thank you bye